Air is all around us, but since it's transparent, we almost forget about it. In this science fair project, we'll do three quick experiments to answer the question, does air occupy space? To do this project, you'll need a 750 milliliter plastic soda bottle, not a water bottle, a piece of paper, balloons, a digital camera to take photos or video with, and you'll need someone to help you melt a hole in a plastic bottle. The first experiment's really quick. We'll take the cap off the plastic bottle and see if we can crush it. Record your observations. Second, we'll blow into the bottle to return it to its original shape, as you can see me doing right here. And then we'll put the cap on and try to crush the bottle again. Be sure to record your observations. For the next step, you'll want to have an adult help you melt the hole in the side of the bottle. We'll need that for the next two experiments. The second experiment is also pretty quick. So now that you have a bottle with the hole melted in the side, what you'll do is you'll place your finger over the hole and then place a wad of paper in the entrance to the bottle. Next, try to blow the paper into the bottle. Make sure that you're blowing directly into the neck of the bottle for this to work. After you've done that, remove your finger from the hole and try it again. Record your observations. Most people find the results surprising for this experiment. Experiment three is my favorite. First, you want to push a balloon into the bottle and then wrap it around the top and the bottle is shown here in the video. Next, place your finger over the hole that was melted in the bottle and then try to inflate the balloon or you could challenge someone else to do it. Next, remove your finger from the hole and try to inflate the balloon again. Record your observations. So now you have enough evidence gained from your experiments to answer the question, does air occupy space? This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.